please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. So I love basketball, and I've loved it since I was 13, and I was a St. Anne's fighting shamrock. We were the fiercest greenery in all of Houston. I've loved basketball through my teens, my 20s, and my 30s. Around my mid-30s, I was playing in outdoor city parks, and I noticed that the guys and girls that were playing ball, they were faster, stronger than me, and I started to get hurt. And I thought, well, it's time to put the basketball down. So I put it down. Well, four years ago, four years ago, I was 50. I hit the jackpot. I'm standing in line. There's a free movie Miles Davis preview thing with the party. And the guy I'm standing in line with, I strike up a conversation with. I said, what do you do for fun? He says, I play basketball. I immediately size him up. I'm like, this guy's 10 years older than me. 10 years older than me. I said, with who? He says, with a bunch of guys around my age, our kids all went to the same school and we used the gym. Well, in my head, I'm already playing with them. I mean, it's a full court, it's wooden, it's air conditioned full court. I'm like, y'all play full court basketball, guys your age. He says, and older. I said, you know, that's the kind of group I feel like I could be really competitive with. <laughs> he says, you're welcome to come anytime. I've been going every week for the last four years, twice a week, and I absolutely am having a ball. Communication is critical in basketball. When you're younger, it's the difference between having a good team and a bad team. And without going into semantics and, and some talk about what that is, one thing is a pick. And when you're playing a young, you know, as a young person, you want to win. When you're playing as a 50-year-old person or a 54-year-old person, I play carefully. And I play in a way that I can play again. <laughs> right. So, <clears throat> so this guy is supposed to call out a pick. And a pick, calling out a pick is just saying, you know, Harwood left, left pick or something like that. I didn't hear that. And what that means is I'm about to run into somebody kind of full speed. And when I ran into this guy, he just caught me right under my rib cage and it pushed all the air out of my lungs. And in my 20s, I'd have been cool. I'd have choked a little bit. I'd have been back on the court, probably played for another hour. They're like, you okay? And I'm like, nope, not okay. Done, done tonight. I was done that night, I was done for another week, chiropractor, six weeks later, I'm back on the court. I walk in and I see this new guy, and I'm like, you know, I'm going to say hi to this guy, because when I was new, people said hi to me. And as I'm walking up to him, he just looks like the weight of the world is on him. And I know depression, I fought it myself. And as I'm getting closer, I'm like, wow, he has that don't F with me body language. And the last thought I had was, he probably is the kind of guy no one approaches. So I, for all those reasons, I said, hi, I'm Harwood. Um, I hadn't seen you here before. I just thought I'd introduce your, myself. And he says, uh, you know, actually, my kids went here. I'm not new. I just hadn't played in 10 years and just came back. And so everything he's saying, by the way, is so slow and heavy. And I'm like, well, what do you do outside of basketball? He says, well, I used to have a business. I just sold it. So I'm still trying to lift him up. I'm like, you just sold your business. That's a good thing, right? He said, yeah, that's a good thing. I said, what are you going to do now? He said, that's part of the problem. I really don't know. And I said, well, you're going to play basketball. And he smiles and he said, yeah, I'm going to play basketball tonight. I don't remember anything else about that night, you know. Um, two weeks later, I get the regular email from Mike. And he says, you know, Game is on tonight. He's just telling us because there's not going to be a PTA meeting or a school play or something, chairs on the basketball court. And if you're coming tonight, come early. I want to make an announcement. So we show up early. Um, he gathers everybody at center court, and he says, I didn't want to send this in an email. He says, Steve committed suicide. I didn't know this guy. And he said, listen, um, I know we're just playing basketball here, but I want you to know if there's something going on with you, you can talk to me. And from now on, when I send these emails out, I'm going to send them so you can see everybody's email. We need to be able to reach each other. And it changed me. I'm busy like everybody, you know, and we finished late, and guys would ask that I don't know to go to dinner or something like that. I always said no. I say yes now. 
And last night, I was playing with these guys. And Mike's one of the guys, the guy that sends the email out. He's one of the older guys. He's 65, I think. And it used to anger me because they don't warm up. And I'm like, dude, you're twice as old as I am. You need to warm up. You're going to get hurt. And they're just shooting, you know, just shooting the shit. They should be shooting around. They're just talking. And then I remember, you know, I thought, well, maybe that's why they come. And maybe that's the most important part. Thank you.